Sup, Nerd Migos. I'm the Jive Talking Nerd, John Norgrove. I'm the disembodied voice thereof and therein. Uh, with us here, we've got Wife. And uh, so, you know, Mondays we're starting to do this sort of lifestyle vlog thing. And I decided, you know what I should do is, why don't we give a tarot tour, for lack of better words, regardless of the fact that half my stuff ain't even tarot. Um... <laughs> Uh, just because we sort of have a big collection and we have more on the way Kickstarter in 2020 was a thing for me that I'm not proud of or the amount of um, financial... It's more like a intervention for you. <laughs> quite, quite nearly, quite nearly. A anywho, anywho. So, uh, what I've decided to do is we're just going to go one at a time. Uh, these six are my decks and then those six are uh, wife's decks. And we're just going to go one at a time for... Tarot itself, we chose to only use the Devil card, primarily because uh, we spent the last 20 minutes standing here scrubbing through all of our cards trying to figure out which card is both universally the same level of badassery. So, yeah, that, that was, uh, that was, a, that was an tough. expensive yeah. time. <laughs> but, but we decided on the Devil, so take that um, yeah. for what it's worth, I guess. Anywho. So, so how do you use your cards before we get started? Do you do all of these cards at once? Like... Do you so do I, certain cards at a time I, or decks at a time? As a general rule, use as many cards as I feel I need to use. What I've been doing is using this tarot set here as my primary set. Um, this is a brand new set, these two here that I just got. Uh, so I've been using this as my, as my primary set, and then I've been using my, uh, these three decks, these two rune decks, and my, um, um, oracle deck to act as modifier cards. So, like, like, I'll, like, draw three and then modify each one with one of these, or I'll draw one of these and then modify it with three of these, or with one of these, or whatever. So I sort of mix and match. Um, now that I have an, a mobile deck, like a smaller travel deck, uh, I may convert over to this as my travel. Normally I bring my, um, uh, my this deck, my uh, Neon Moon deck for travel, but yeah, for the most part I sort of do everything. What about you? So I primarily use um, like two decks at a time. So this uh, this is one deck that I that that's one of my primary decks. This is an Oracle deck. This isn't Tarot. This is Obsidian Oracle, which I got from Kickstarter, and I just super love. Uh, and right now I've been using this deck as my like Tarot deck that I've been doing. But like now that I'm looking at these, I'm like, gosh, I should really use these decks more often. So I, I normally only pull from these two decks, but I'm feeling like after this video, I'm probably gonna. Yeah. Well, Try pulling from all of them. That's why I pull from all of these is because I bought all of them because the art and the styling um, is what I'm into. So I kind of, like, I don't want to not see all of them. Yeah. Is yeah. really the secret there for me. <laughs> but so let's, let's get into this. We're going to start with uh, this deck, which is my Neon Moon deck. Let me get this camera to focus, you fuck. There you go. And uh, so uh, I was actually given this as a gift from wife. And this and was this your is also first my deck first ever. Deck. Yeah. yeah. This is my first deck. I had no tarot experience or anything like that. Um, so my Neon Moon cards, I freaking love these things. They're super beautiful, crazy high gloss, lots of, uh, they're all done in this pink and black and uh, purple. And uh, until this, I only use hand-carved runes. So that was a whole new lesson for me. And what's your deck? Uh, so the first deck I'm going to talk about also is this one from Pixel Occult. This is the Wayward Dark deck. And uh, this deck is all monochrome. So uh, that's really cool about it. This deck, I, I really like um, I really like the booklet. The guy who does these, he put he took the time to put quotes for all of the all of the cards in the decks there. So uh, sometimes I feel like the quotes are a little bit um, more my style than what the traditional reading would be. Okay, and uh, then that'll move me on to this, which is actually the newest deck I get, just got. So I'm going to show you the big guy, which is this guy here, this devil, which is absolutely fantastic devil. So this new deck that I just got has this really highly textured paper. It's my um, uh, Lost Hollow deck that I just got from Kickstarter. But as part of the Kickstart, I also got this itty-bitty travel size deck. So if you, as you can see, like, side-by-side-wise... 
they're like a very different size and this itty bitty one is really nice it still has that like high quality like textured paper sort of a feel really really nice deck uh and i've done a little bit of work with it already even though i just got it and i i, I like the deck the whole art style is is quite fantastic so what about you so uh next i'm gonna talk about this one this is my obsidian oracle this is the only oracle deck that i have this one i got as a kickstarter this is um from uh from an artist that I just like found on Instagram. It's got this really beautiful back. And the Kickstarter, I got a little card holder that's made out of clay that she like handmade. Yeah. So it's really cool. This deck features like a creature and like a thing, either like a, like a plant or um, like a crystal of sorts to uh, put together for a meeting. So um, they're all, it's all very like earthy feeling and like organic. And it's also like a super up uplifting feel to the deck nice. the way that the booklet's written nice so okay so next up is is this guy here which is another so this is an oracle deck this is my only uh technically official oracle deck uh and this is the adora Bissell deck which i ordered on um etsy, etsy. yeah and I really like this artist, and these, it's, they're like cute little monsters from a bunch of different, like, countries and beliefs, and like, yeah, they're like, like a adorable Jersey little devil and kawaii stuff. monsters. They're like adorable little kawaii monsters, and if you know me, you know that I have, like, a deep love for kawaii monsters. So, uh, yeah, I had to get that. So uh, that's that one. Yeah. And I like the size of the cards. They're, it's an it's nice as a modifier card, which is how I've been using uh, this Oracle deck, is as modifiers. Cool. All right. So next is the Cosmos deck. So this one's actually a two-in-one deck. So this one's an Oracle and it's a tarot deck. Uh, and this one is done, you can see even the backs are different colors. This one is done by a company called Light Gray Art Lab. And the cool thing about this is, first of all, it has this like really cool gold gilding on all of the cards. And uh, all of these have a uh, constellation or a planet that they're... Um, linked to with. and that is the gilding on the the front of the card so this one is the oracle uh this is uh uranus and then this one is the devil from the tarot side of things this one's neat because it also talks about what it means underneath which is super helpful when you're dealing with like <laughs> I a, a hundred card that cards explains on the card yeah, yeah totally <laughs> but totally. the coolest thing about this deck is that every card is the art is done by a different artist Every single card in these decks is a different artist. Yeah, so it's, it's like a very dynamic sort of deck. Yeah, so, you know, you're not necessarily looking at traditional um, art art styles on these things. So yeah. that one was a gift also. That was the one of the first gifts that, uh, that John gave to me. Yeah. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah. Vaguely. <laughs> it was 100 million years ago. So next up is the first of my uh, rune decks. So, because uh, I do a lot of, like, rune work. Uh, and this is um, my Rune Oracle deck, which I actually call my water deck literally because of the coloring and because it just kind of feels right. I super love this deck. I love that it explains what it says, like what it's about on the card. And of course, there is like more information on a in a booklet. But the fact that, it, that you can like you don't have to access the booklet and you can just use this is really nice. I'm a huge proponent of very like explanatory cards <laughs> because I don't want to have to search through a book and like every one of these decks that I have has a booklet and a thing and, a, and it's just like so much work I'm having to flip through like five books to be able to read like a single reading um, but yeah I really I really like it they're like clean it's simple it's plain I like it it's I like the simplicity of it they're very beautiful cards yeah so the next deck I have is the Celtic Tarot, which was also a gift for me. Um, so this one is like a pretty standard Celtic imagery deck. Um, and it's kind of neat because everything is very like, everything is very right or white. It's very straightforward. So if you're familiar with traditional symbolism, it's all there. Um, this deck actually and the Wayward Dark Tarot, the first one I talked about, are um, what I'm going to call not safe for work decks. There's lots of nudity. Oh, yeah. And this one. Yeah. And in particular, this one, and this is no hate on this deck, uh, but the King of Cups has the hugest wiener. Yeah. In yeah. this it's, deck. It's pretty intense. <laughs> this is one of those decks where, like, you're flipping through it and you're just like, oh, jeez. Oh. oh, hey. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Unsolicited. Right. <laughs> Unsolicited. Wiener cards. Wiener, dark, wiener cards. <laughs> so the last of my cards is this, which is my rune... Um, 
a Witch's Familiar deck is what it's called, which I also got from a Kickstarter, uh, and I'm super, super in love with. So each uh, rune is paired with an animal, and uh, they're the super beautiful cards, right? And they're, I like their form factor. They're nice and small. They're very thick. It's a very hefty card, right? Like unshuffleable heft uh, on this card. And so it really results in, um, in like a, in a nice feel in the card. And again, it's that I like using this smaller size as modifier cards. I don't know. There's just something about it in my mind that makes it feel right. Um, but also this deck, because I kickstarted it, uh, and of course, because every Kickstarter, they have all this fancy stuff that's so nice and you want it. So you got to get the highest level and you get all kind of features and shit. Uh, uh, this deck came with this, with several art pieces, but one of them is like a, like a maybe postcard size card that not only has each rune, but it's descriptor that I just have kind of like hung next to my, uh, next to my altar, which is honestly maybe the best way to have to read through a series of cards is I could just be like, ah, this is a card. These are the things associated with it. Yeah. Go. But it does have a book for like deeper meaning if I need deeper meaning. But yeah, I really enjoy this deck and all of the animals are beautifully well done. This was a fantastic deck. Your so last deck? the last deck is actually the weirdest deck out of all of these. So this deck is uh, just a it's it's just a generic tarot card deck. So I was at Spirit Store a couple of years ago during Halloween time and found this deck at the Spirit Store. So um, this deck has like a bunch of things that kind of are incongruent for tarot decks. So you can't really see it in this one, but in 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 each of these decks, there is, or in each of the cards of this deck, uh, there is like a creature like mythological or, uh, you know, uh, some sort of like one's a ghost. And then there's also like, like goddesses, like Kali is the empress. And there's all kinds of just like weird stuff. There's a Valkyrie, there's gargoyles. It's very like, uh, anything you would see in like sort of a fantasy or horror movie uh, as a as a type you would see in here. So this card also has a number at the top, which is accurate to tarot, but it has a number at the bottom, which as best as I can tell has no relation to literally anything. Although I am a not a number. numerologist, so it, maybe it has a numerology meaning. I don't know. Some of them also have a symbol, like this one's got this symbol here. Um, these symbols also don't make any sense in conjunction with what the card is. In fact, many times the pictures don't make sense with the typical meaning of the card. Yeah. So um, it's a really weird deck, and I don't often use this deck for readings because it didn't come with a book. It does say there's a website you can go to, but it doesn't work. It's like one step down from Wish. Uh, and well, it's a so spirit it's, it's, like a, it's like a fun deck to have because the cards are so weird and the art style is pretty interesting, but this is the weirdest deck out of all all of them oh far and away yeah the, the spirit deck is one of those it's like every time i see a card from it i'm just like yeah sure sure yeah okay whatever yeah yeah you know? you're just like, like okay styles, i guess like very it, it doesn't really seem to be like a singular thing honestly I, it feels like somebody was like we should do a tarot deck and they're like that's a great idea jim it's your job now and yeah. he was like fuck uh and now that's what he does <laughs> he just, yeah, he just like tarot deck. came up with things and it seems yeah. like after a while he just like lost the ability to like Care. match up the creature <laughs> and the item uh, but I don't know at what point that was he's just reading the traditional he's just reading the traditional tarot and he's just like oh what is what does this mean what does this mean what does this mean okay uh, make this one a Frankenstein and make this one a werewolf and uh, make this one a horse with I don't know claws or something that, that seems <laughs> like... the best uh, way to describe how that deck no, it's, came a, it's out. but the art yeah. is really and so bad. I've seen that I go to the spirit store every year I saw it only one time one year and this was the only one there and I have never seen it since uh, nor have I seen it available on their website although I haven't looked this year so who knows yeah. um, but that is it is that is the story of my of my spirit deck yeah man this the spirit the spirit deck but uh, yeah guys so this was just a brief tarot tour um i have a like a buttload more tarot cards coming um in fact one of the kickstarters that i kickstarted i'm pretty certain i bought five decks and that is not five of the same deck that is five different decks this guy was including in 
a large amount of money uh, that I'm not proud to talk about. But um, I have an art problem. I love it. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so either way, I've been the disembodied voice of John Norgrove. That has been the disembodied voice of Wife over there. These are our tarot cards and oracle decks and rune cards and, and, and various uh, what have yous. We will probably do this again at a later date. If you're interested in us doing more sort of like witchy or tarot or occult or anything like that, please comment below. Um, don't forget to like this video, share this video, subscribe to the channel, do all that kind of stuff. Um, we do like full rituals for all the major blots of the year. Um, so that's one of those things that we've considered putting yeah. up on this channel. And I've been a um, practicing witch for... 30 years yeah yeah and i've i've been i've been uh i'm new to tarot but i've been uh messing with runes and and uh shamanistic following of odin for uh, more time than i care to admit to but uh yeah it's uh it, it's fun it's interesting it's art it's beautiful and if you have any questions more than feel free to reach out obviously anything if you want to see more photos of more cards follow both of us on our social media uh, at goddess jewels and at nerd jive on instagram is the best place to find those uh I, I don't know about you but i post i post tarot stuff on insta fairly frequently sometimes yeah so sometimes. yeah so uh we hope you enjoyed this tour of our tarot deck yeah and we will catch you guys next time uh stay tuned for more lifestyle stuff yeah. uh yeah cheers